Hey guys, Block Squad 1000 here, and welcome back to some more The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, we completed the Shadow Temple, and... Yeah, that was literally it. <laughs> now, you're probably wondering why I haven't uploaded in about five days, and I swear I have a very, very good reason. It may or may not have had something to do with the fact that Splatoon 2 came out, and I, uh... I kind of... I, I kind of needed to play it. I know, it's a terrible ex it's a terrible excuse, but come on, you guys understand, right? <laughs> Anyways, in this episode, I m you remember at the end of the last episode, I said that I was gonna deal with the stupid Poe minigame? Yeah, screw that. I don't really feel like it anymore. <laughs> we'll have to save that for just maybe one more episode, but... Um, we're gonna sort of do story progress. This isn't really story progress, but it's a required thing to do in order to, like, uh, continue with it. Basically, um, we're gonna be completing a sort of mini dungeon in a way, and the reason why is because, uh, we have to do it if we want to enter the next area in the game, uh, which is where the dungeon is. So, we're gonna get that out of the way, and then we'll actually have access to the next area, which is where the next dungeon is. And, yeah, that'll work out well. <laughs> so, yeah, um, no annoying minigames, uh, as, like, none of the annoying minigames that I listed last episode, which are adult fishing and po hunting. We're not gonna do those. Uh, however, yeah, we're gonna head off to Gerudo Valley. We've been here a couple times, in case you forgot, but, uh, it's back here. We have to have a pono in order to get over to that bridge, because it's broken. And then we'll go we'll go figure stuff out. <laughs> Anyways. Aw, oh, the music isn't playing, come on. Why does that always happen? Oh there we go. It starts right as we get here. I don't know if I've showed you guys this song yet. I mean obviously literally everybody knows the song. There's no point in introducing it, but this is Gerudo Valley and this music's pretty incredible. Like every Zelda fan loves this song. Um Anyways, let's talk to this guy. It's his name's Muto, I believe. Oh, great camera angle. I am a master craftsman. Those Gerudo thieves, they broke the bridge. I want to fix it, but all of my workers are gone. They said working as carpenters isn't cool, and they went to the Gerudo fortress to become thieves. Hey, you. If you're going to the fortress, would you mind finding out what my workers are doing over there? Okay, we'll do that. I'll bring a pony for no reason in particular, since we don't really have to bring her. <laughs> but we'll do it anyway. That midi guitar is cool. <laughs> Alright. And back here. This is the Gerudo's Fortress. This is a sort of mini dungeon. It's not really because there's no puzzles in it. But uh, I sort of consider it one because... It's a dungeon-like structure. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, the, this is a stealth section, so we gotta become Solid Link once again. Uh, we haven't done that in seven years. Because <laughs> the last time we did it was when we were kids breaking into Hyrule Castle. Uh, so... Yeah, there's some Gerudo... Whoa, Link's doing the shuffle over there. Um, <laughs> oh my god, that is amazing. Alright, oh, whoa, I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry, I was trying to do the shovel. Alright, so, um, yeah, this is what happens if you get caught. You get thrown inside this prison and Link does his annoying and obnoxious scream every time. But anyways, stupid kid, get in there and keep quiet. I'm already in here and I'm never, ever, I literally never talk. So, I think you don't need to tell me that. <laughs> Okay, uh, so we gotta get the hook shot out, and these Gerudos are ter- for, for thieves, they're terrible at keeping their place secure. Oh. Well, apparently Link isn't good at actually solving simple tasks. <laughs> so we're gonna hook shot up here. And, yeah, if you get out your bow and arrow, you can shoot the Gerudos. We can be vicious, cold-blooded killers. Uh, just kidding, it just stuns them, because this is an E-rated game. Uh... Alright, so we can enter through here, and so Thieves Hideout, there's gonna be a Gerudo past this place, isn't there? Oh no, okay, come back here. Hey you, young man, over there, look over here inside the cell. Okay, what's up? 
I have no idea where you come from, but you must have a lot of guts to make it past all the guards around here. All of my fellow carpenters are imprisoned somewhere in here. If you can get us out of here, we will repay the favor somehow. But be careful, there's sure to be Gerudo guards somewhere around here. That was a weird way that he like stopped talking. Like he like paused for a second. Woo! Watch out! All right, so this is a, a an apparently a mini boss, but it isn't really. All you gotta do is wait for an opening to attack, just like most enemies in this game, and then splash, slash away. Watch out for that attack, because if you get hit by that, you will get sent back to the start, I believe. Because apparently doing some weird spin attack there is enough to uh, to kill you. I mean, I mean, technically getting hit by any form of sword attack can kill you, but uh, come on. And there we go. Pretty easy. And she just vanishes up into the ceiling and drops a key. Alright, so... Anyways... Uh, can, I, can, I, can I please... Oh, I have to... What the hell am I doing? I have to open the door. Uh, Alright. Did you come here to save me? Oh, that's just swell. I'm Ishuru the Carpenter. We were really interested in joining their all-female group, but they locked us up like this just because we're men. We don't care about the Gerudo anymore. They're so rude. Three of my fellows have also been captured, so please help them escape too. Alright, so off, off Ishiru goes to prance around like a, like a carpenter, because carpenters do that. Uh, so yeah, in case you guys don't actually know this, uh, so this place, Gerudo Desert, or Gerudo Valley, god, I, I keep getting the names mixed up because Breath of the Wild and Twilight Princess, it's, always, it's called uh, Gerudo Desert, not Gerudo Valley, but yeah, this is the area that contains the last uh, main dungeon in the game. Also, Link, can you sidestep a bit better, please? Uh, but anyways, if you're not familiar with the Zelda lore, the deep Zelda lore, if you don't have a copy of Hyrule Historia, or just know anything about Zelda, really, <laughs> you'll know that, um, you, you, uh, should know that the Gerudo is, um, Ganondorf's, uh, race. Oh, I'm so good. Anyway, so yeah, Ganondorf, uh, is a Gerudo, and the Gerudo are all female, um, however, every, every 100 years, a, uh, male is born, and, uh, that person becomes their king, and that's what Ganondorf is, he's the king of the Gerudos. Uh, it's kind of hinted at quite a bit in the game, but that's just a little bit of trivia in case you don't know Zelda or if you've never played this game or anything. But yeah, I'll just say that. <laughs> I mean, every Zelda fan probably knows that. I, I keep saying stuff that I probably everybody knows, but it's like, I'm just making sure in case you guys never played this game. Anyway, so we don't have to, thank god we don't have to fight freaking Gerudo again, but uh... I, I used to pronounce it Gerudo all the time, but then, because Breath of the Wild is voice acting, and for the first time ever they actually like officially pronounced it in game, and it is Gerudo. So I guess anybody who pronounces it Gerudo must feel ashamed. <laughs> Alright, this time we're not going to screw this up again, we're, okay, whoa camera, please, please cooperate. <laughs> okay, that, that's one thing that, I, I know that like the C buttons are used for like, uh, like holding items, but I wish that there was just another way to like position the camera, like maybe with the D-pad or something, because like Super Mario 64 just had like such a good camera for the time, but like, this game, like, just, like, you can only position the camera behind you by pressing Z. Okay, so, oh, here we are in the next area. Hello. Okay, this one has pots in it. Roops. Rupees. Lots and lots of roo Hey, you young man over there, look over here inside the cell. I'm coming, I'm coming. What's up? You're gonna, say, you're gonna say the same thing, aren't you? I have no idea where you come from, but you must have a lot of guts to- Yeah, you see, this is the exact same thing. Get some- get some unique text, buddy. All my fellow group- like, shut up. I, I don't want to say the same thing again. Uh... God, I can't skip this. I can't skip it! Just- whatever. Anyways, another- another fight, because copy-paste and stuff. <laughs> I'm just kidding. This game doesn't have a lot of copy-paste and stuff, it's just- 
I just like I just like making fun of games that everybody loves. <laughs> Same thing happened with Super Mario Galaxy. I deeply love that game, but I just love pointing things out about it that are stupid. <laughs> Alright. Uh, so yeah, you're allowed to take hits, but like just don't get hit by that spin attack. Because that is bad. That is very bad. Oh, ow. Stop going all Dark Souls on me. Stop it! <laughs> okay, this is getting nowhere. Come on. There we go. <laughs> that was close. I almost got hit by the spin attack. Well, okay. Come on. I'm trying so hard to do this. I don't know why this is giving me trouble all of a sudden. There we go. There we go. Drops the key. Now we can open the gate. Or the door. Uh, the cell. <laughs> and... You're a cute kid. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for coming to save me. I'm Jiro the Carpenter. At least you have unique text this time. These women are so scary. I'd rather work as a carpenter than join them. I can't wait to say goodbye to this place. Two of my buddies are still being held prisoner. Will you please get them out too? East. Even if you had a little bit of unique text, doesn't mean you're still the same copy pasted character. <laughs> Alright, so, past here, I don't remember ex Oh, this part. Okay, uh, this is where stuff gets a little bit tricky. This place is very maze-like, which is kind of why I consider it a dungeon. You gotta really think outside the box about where you want to go next. I think we have to go this way? I'm not sure. Uh, okay, this part. So, wait a sec. For a second, I thought that was Majora's Mask over there, and I was like, what is that? Alright, so I think we gotta put the hover boots on. So the hover boots are getting some use inside of a dungeon, which is nice. That's one of the things I was talking about while we were in the Shadow Temple. So we can. Oh god! Do not do that. And there we go. Now we can take them off because they're useless to us now. Up the, up, up the sl slope, not the stairs. Alright, I need to get my basic geometry right. Um, okay, we can climb up here. And from what I know, yes, there is a place we can play the Scarecrow song. I don't know why I went all the way. I have the freaking ocarina in my inventory. What am I doing? And playing that will cause the Scarecrow to come out, obviously. Okay, uh, let's get our hook shot. And... Oh, okay, for a second I was like, what? We can't reach that? But in here, there's some pretty noise stuff. It's a piece of heart! And we complete another heart container. Only two more left. Which means that we only have to get one more heart container from the from the last dungeon. Plus a uh plus another four pieces of heart. <laughs> so we're making excellent progress. Besides that and sculptulas, we're very close to 100 percent completion. Uh, obviously we have to do some annoying stuff like get the bottle <laughs> from the Poe and stuff like that. But we're close. Anyways, where exactly do we go now? Uh, do we just go down here? I think we do. Whoops. I think this is it. Please let me be right. I don't want to spend too much longer in this place. Thieves hideout. Yeah, there's a Garuda. Oh, come on! How did- what? Okay, I guess that was a bad idea. So we gotta go through this again. Thankfully this place isn't actually that small. You can get through it in like a minute tops. But like, uh, still, it's an inconvenience. Alright, get our- let's, let's put the bow in the Lens of Truth slot this time. Because then we don't have to keep swapping things out. Let's be tactical Zelda players. Okay. Yeah! Okay. And Thieves Hideout. Uh, roll, roll like you, you mean it. I almost said roll like you've never rolled before, and I'm like, I don't know. I guess that technically counts, works too. Whoa, what? 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 Do I even know how to English? Jeez. Okay. Oh, whoa. Oh, come on. I didn't see you there. Please, just stop doing stuff like that, please. Uh, okay. This is annoying. Uh, you know what? This time I'm gonna actually just snipe both of them and just run through. Alright, should I snipe all three? Okay, snipe. And... 
around. Come on. There we go. Run! Freaking run! There we go. We're back here, and now we can just skip things. I guess we could have actually gotten there faster if we went the other way, but uh, who knows? I'm not a speedrunner. Okay, we're gonna turn around, and now I can actually go. Thank you. And up here, we will. Uh, do we wait? To Oh god, oh god, don't do that, don't do that. Uh, do we wait for the moment? Okay, good. And I wasted another arrow because <laughs> why not? Alright, and then back here, we can just skip through here. <laughs> Link in his anime growls. Or grunts, they're not really growls. I don't know. Like I said earlier, I can't English. Um, okay, put on those boots. This, uh, I know this is kind of off topic, but, uh, this weekend I'm going to Con Bravo in Hamilton, and I'm actually going to, uh, to see Chucka Conroy, um, who's my favorite Let's Player, uh, for the second time? I saw him in 2015, and I was gonna go last year as well. I love watching the Runaway Guys panels, um, uh, the Throne Controllers panels, but, uh, I didn't get to go last year because we were in Prince Edward County. I actually made a vlog about that on my stupid vlog channel that I, I, I like to forget existed. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, we're gonna go this weekend, which is pretty cool. I'm also going to Niagara Falls tomorrow, so, cool stuff. That's actually why I'm recording this, because I want to be able to just record this and not skip another day. Also, where in the world is that Gerudo? Okay. So... Oh, come on! Really? I... You know what? I'm just gonna cut ahead till when I get back, because I don't want to... I don't want to deal with this anymore. Seriously. Okay, so... We gotta wait for the Gerudo to come over here. And... Run! Run, 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 run! Oh god! Oh god! Oh, come on! I was like... I got stuck on the wall. Really? Are you serious? Ah. Uh. Okay, um... Fun! Oh... I'm actually tired of this now. I legit just want to get to the end of this dungeon. Because there's one thing that I kind of want to show at the end of the episode, and... I gotta be done with this. <laughs> Come on, there's just one carpenter left. Oh, I just thought of something that made, would have made things a lot better. Why didn't I just shoot her with an arrow. Oh. I don't know why I decided to do that with every other guard I countered, but not that particular guard. Now I, uh, I, I feel very smart. Okay. Okay, see you in a sec, guys. <laughs> Snoiped! Alright, here we go. <laughs> I should have just done that from the beginning. Why didn't I ever think to do that? All right. Hey, you young man over there, look over here. I don't know why I gave him a different voice than the rest of them. All right. I have no idea where you come from, but you must have a lot of guts to make it past all the guards around here. All of my fellow carpenters are in prison somewhere in here. If you can get us out of here, we'll repay the favor somehow. But be careful. There should be Gerudo guards somewhere around here. Woo, watch out. Okay, so we are pressured to not screw this up. Like, really pressured, because if we screw this up, then we have to go all the way back to the beginning again. So, uh, thankfully, these are pretty easy. Just dodge when necessary, and there we go. Yeah. <laughs> Jump up to your random, like, look, there, there's no hole in the ceiling. Where did... Where did she go? I, I want to actually see what it looks like if you actually look up at the ceiling when that happens. Anyways. Thanks! Okay, I'm, I forgot to give me the other ways. Thanks, boy. You're fantastic. I'm Senburu, the carpenter. Have you seen our boss, boy? He's probably worried about me. I have to get back to him immediately. One more of our workers is still a prisoner. Please save him. Wait, 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 I thought he was the last one. I I thought he was 
somewhat. I, I seriously thought he was the last one. Where is... How did I miss another one? <laughs> okay, uh, I suppose I'm going to need a sec to uh, find the last one now. Okay, she's still stunned apparently. Okay, we can just go past. Okay, um, but yeah, I, I could have sworn that... What? <laughs> now, now I'm just... Okay. Okay, we can't hook shot up there. So... What if we go down here? Is this it? This could be it. Is it? Please be right. Yeah, this has to be. Yep. Okay. Hey, you young man over there. Look at me. You're time to sell. I'm going to say the same thing as the other three because I am not original. Uh, but I, have, I, I don't actually know if all of them have mustaches. I don't, I don't really care about their designs because they all look weird. Uh, I guess not here, please. I, I, I really can't skip this text. Are you serious? Okay. Well, uh, I still feel stupid that I didn't realize that I had gotten only three of them. Whatever, though. I mean, just take this one out all easy like. Uh, you gonna do the spin attack? I wanna. I wanna, like. Whoops. There we go. And... What? Get, get over here, please. Ow. This is stupid. Okay. And... Whoa. Oh! Damn! We got hit at the same time. If, she, if, like, the, if the hit had, like, registered, like, if she hadn't died right there, she would have caught me and sent me back to the start. Wow. I was afraid you were going to forget about me. No, I'm free. Thanks, I'm sure the carpenter. For rescuing me, I'll tell you something interesting about the desert that I overheard. What the? Oh, sorry, guys. Sorry. Um, I, I apologize for that. That was weird. <laughs> yeah, I. sometimes my computer interrupts me while I'm recording. For rescuing me, I'll tell you something interesting about the desert that I overheard the Grudos talking about. They said in order to cross the haunted wasteland, you'll need the Eye of Truth. The Colossus is on the far side of the wasteland. Okay, now I'm going back to my tent near Gruda Valley, so drop by sometime. You might find something helpful there. Bye! What is he, Big the Cat? <laughs> okay. I've seen your fine work. To get past the guards here, you must have good thieving skills. I used to think that all men besides the great Ganondorf were useless, but now that I've seen you, I don't think so anymore. The exalted Naburu, our leader, put me in charge of this fortress. Naburu is the second to command to the great Ganondorf, king of the Gerudo thieves. Her headquarters are in the spirit temple, which is at the end of the desert. Say, you must want to become one of us, eh? Alright then, you're in from now on. Take this. With it, you will have free access to all the areas of the fortress. We now we now no longer have to be Solid Link. We can just be here and chill and just say, hi, ah, what's up? <laughs> but yeah, oh, I didn't need to talk to you, whatever. Anyways, that wraps that up. Thank God, because that was actually getting kind of annoying, and I felt really, really stupid while doing it because I kept screwing up simple things. Anyways, we have access to a load of stuff now. First of all, if you actually go back to the tent where, um, if you go back to the tent where, uh, the, uh, the carpenter said they were going, come on, go a bit faster, lock, I need you to go fast, thank you, thank you. Okay, in here you can see the four carpenters, and they're all just, they all just say stuff, but back here, you can see this dude. I'm the wandering running man. Remember we talked to him seven years ago. I've run all over this land in search of true competitive spirit. I beat all my challengers, man and beast. You're an athletic guy, and you look like you might have a true killer instinct too. Now that the bridge over Gerudo Valley is complete, I'm looking for a challenger to have a commemorative race against. The best time to go from here to the bridge in the Lost Woods was two minutes and 38 seconds. That's my record. Will you challenge my record? No. Don't. 
bother. Heh heh heh. You'll never discover your killing instinct with that kind of attitude. Yeah, well, I don't want to waste time. For those who have never played this game or have never tried that, that guy says that he'll race you, and you have to get there in under 2 minutes and 38 seconds. It's impossible. Like, if you get there, he will always beat you by one second, and it'll happen every single time. Even if you cheat and get there in, like, one second by using, like, hacks or something, he'll still beat you. And yeah, it's made that way, it's just like a tr it's like a troll minigame, like, literally, there's no purpose to it whatsoever, it's just there. Maybe it's there to train you to see how fast you can get across Hyrule Field on foot or something, I don't know. But, like, it's so, like, they're, they're, I've heard stories of people who spent, like, literally, like, years or something, like, trying to get past that, because they, like... Because they legit thought they could do it, but the game makes you th and the game makes you think you can, but you can't. And also, Link, get back on opponent because I want to show this. Anyway, so yeah, that's just there, but don't bother, seriously, unless you really, really want to waste your time. Anyways, so up here, there's access to a couple things. First of all, there's this Gerudo over here who is guarding the entrance to something. We'll get into that quite a bit later, because it's there, but you can't complete it until you've done the next dungeon. So, uh, up here. And... Let's do this! Smack! Smack! Anyways, this right here is this big archery thing. Let's talk to this lady here. Speak. Hey, newcomer, you have a fine horse. I don't know where you stole it from, but... Okay, how about a challenge... How about challenging this horseback archery? Once the horse starts galloping, shoot the targets with your arrows. Let's see how many points you can score. You get 20 arrows. If you can score 1,000 points, I will give you something good. Do you want to try for 20 rupees? Yeah. I don't really have a very good luck with this minigame, but I will try. I've gotten kind of good at archery in this game, so we'll see how this goes. You have to basically shoot the targets, and if you shoot the middle, you get a uh, hundred points, I believe. It's kind of hard to aim because obviously you don't really have a cursor, and you have 20 arrows, but it's manageable. Just just know that much. Also, if you shoot the the pots right there, you'll get even more points. So yeah, that's a hundred. That's a hundred points just for shooting the pots there. So, that's probably the best way to do this. There we go, and as long as we can just shoot this last target here... There we go. We won that. But that's not all. Because there's another part to this minigame. Fantastic, you are a true master. I will give this to you. Keep improving yourself. So yeah, we got a piece of heart for doing that. Uh, but there is one more part to this minigame, and I don't really know if I have the energy for it right now. It's, um... A very, very difficult minigame. Basically, you have to do the same thing, but you have to get, I think, 2,000 points. That means that you practically have to get perfect shots for every single arrow. You have to get, like, you have to get 20 perfect shots, and that's all the arrows you have. So if you miss a single one, you're screwed. It's pretty tough, and I just don't really feel like doing it because it'll probably take me a long time. Uh, but. That's just there, and I'll probably do that next episode or something, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, thank, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Next time, we'll do some side stuff, as promised, and then I guess we'll gear up to head into Gerudo Desert. Or Gerudo Valley, god, I keep getting screwed up. Anyways, see you guys later. Bye!